Hi, Chad here from Purple Collar Life. In today's video, it's hard to believe we've had this Toro Time Cutter for three years, three summers. That's right, we got this back in June of 2020, so that's three summers now that we've been mowing with it. And it was kind of the start of our channel because I wanted to make some videos about this mower. So I did a couple things in advance. We did a landscape project, we did a couple other projects around the house that we videoed. But then once we got the mower, we kind of focused on it for a while. And I was really excited to have this Toro Time Cutter because it was my first ever zero turn. I had never used a zero turn before. I had no idea how to operate one. I knew that you used the two handles, but I wasn't exactly sure how long it would take me to get the hang of it. I made a video about five quick tips learning how to use the zero turn as I learned how to use it. And that video was by far our most popular video for a very long time. So there's kind of a lot of history here with this not very old machine. And I thought today, you can see I need to mow, but before I start mowing, I thought I'd give you a little bit of a rundown of the things after three years that I really like or dislike or wish that were different about our Toro Time Cutter. If you're new to the channel, thank you for joining us. If you've been with us all along, thanks for coming back. A couple things about this Time Cutter. I wanted one with a 60 inch deck. You can see we do have the 60 inch fabricated deck and there's a couple reasons I wanted the, the 60 inch deck. Obviously, 60 inches makes the yard cut a lot faster because I'm getting bigger swaths at a time. But another reason is because the 60 inch deck sticks so much beyond the tire, I can actually get some overhang. So when I'm mowing along the edge of the yard where the ditch goes down in, my tire can still be on solid ground of the yard and the mower deck can kind of hang over that overhang, which lets it mow that taller grass that's typically harder to mow or requires weed whacking. The other thing that the deck being a little bit further out to the left allows me to do is get closer to trees. I can go right along the edge of the sidewalk. I can go right along the edge of the driveway. It keeps me from driving on those areas, but allows the mower deck to cut that grass that kind of extends beyond where you're driving. Now you can tell a couple things just looking at this side of the tractor. You can tell that our ground isn't the best and that I don't, you know, I don't baby my equipment. That's not that I'm rough on it. I see a lot of other YouTube channels out there where they're doing some crazy stuff with their equipment and they must have a lot of disposable money. I am not that way. I work hard for my money and the, the equipment that I have, I really try to take care of it. But you can see I'm not going to be going to a car show with this thing. It's not all polished up and clean. It gets dirty every single time I use it. You can see here the rim has some mud in it. We've got mud splattered up here on the side. The deck's pretty filthy. That's because we live in a rural area. We kind of live in the woods here. And what is our yard used to be an old field. So it's not the best. It's, it's, the grass is getting better and better. We've treated it a couple times and it's doing better and better after 20 years of mowing it. But it was still a field and it's not perfectly level. There are low spots. We've got a ton of springs so it stays wet for quite a while. Right now it's pretty dry and the areas that were wet for the longest part of the summer are now rutted. So that's a rough ride here and you know it, it takes some abuse but it's not abused. If you're watching this video because you're considering buying a Toro Time Cutter or some other zero turn mower, a couple things I'd point out about the Time Cutter brand and things I really like about it. I like the smart speed control system. I talked about this in that previous video where I was talking about learning to drive a zero turn mower. Um, and that reminds me, if you haven't and you are thinking about a time cutter or other zero turn mowers, we've got lots of videos on the channel where we're using this time cutter to mow at a cemetery. I used it to mow a five acre field. Um, I used it in some high grass. So there's lots of videos if you search for on Purple Collar Life Toro Time Cutter. I bet we've made 20, 25 videos that have the Toro Time Cutter kind of as the center focus of that video. We might be doing other things in the video also, but we're using the Time Cutter or talking about it in those videos. So the smart speed control system I think was a big selling feature for me to be able to control the speed of the machine outside of just using my arm controls. The easy deck height adjustment system I think was another reason that really I was impressed with the Toro Time Cutter. Obviously the 60 inch fabricated deck the larger Toro engine, and these nice big thick dolly wheels. Like I talked about earlier, we don't have a perfect yard, it's pretty bumpy. So the nice wide dolly wheels do a nice job of covering that uneven terrain. Okay, like I said, three years of ownership. I pretty much know this thing inside and out. Um, 
while we're right here beside the fuel fill and the fuel gauge or the, at least the viewing area I'll say this thing really eats the gas now I know there's two pumps that are constantly running to drive the drive wheels um, and it's a gas engine not a diesel engine so before I had this time cutter I mowed with a gravely riding mower 16 horsepower it was okay on gas I could mow you know for quite a few hours and not have the tank run empty and then I also mowed with my John Deere 2210 diesel subcompact tractor that thing I felt like I could mow a long time on a tank of gas now it has a bigger tank and diesels are a little bit more fuel efficient under a load than a gasoline engine is. The Toro Time Cutter has a pretty small tank. I think they say it's about three gallons. You can look it up in the specs uh, for the Toro Time Cutter. But I found that sometimes when mowing, that gas goes pretty quickly and I'm refilling more times than I'd like to while I'm mowing, especially if you're using this for a little bit of a landscaping business or a lawn care business and you're mowing bigger sections of yard or going from one place to another to another you'll notice that you're using a lot of gasoline. And that's just kind of the sacrifice of having the 24 and a half horsepower engine, which gives you a lot of power to cut through some high grass and throw that grass easily out to the side. So that's the byproduct of that large engine is a little bit more fuel use, um, but it pays off in the amount of power you have for mowing. Another couple of things I really like about the Toro Time Cutter, after three years of use, I like that all the controls are right here easily beside me. I like that it has a built-in hour meter. I like this nice big storage space. There's two things I keep in here all the time. Number one is my 3M Work Tunes. I'll put an Amazon affiliate link to these down below. These are my favorite hearing protection when I'm on the mower or running the chainsaw, but I leave these particular ones on the Time Cutter all the time. The second thing I keep in there is my bungee cord. And I've talked about this before. I use the bungee cord to hold the chute up, never while I'm mowing, but always when I'm putting it in and out of the garage or in and out of our six by 12 enclosed trailer. With the wide deck, it will not fit into the doorway of our trailer with the chute down. So that bungee's always there to get in and out of the trailer. Then I always take it off before mowing because that blade is exposed if you do not put the chute down. Another thing I really like about the time cutter is the easy access to the everyday maintenance items. Really easy to check your oil level right here. Easy to get to your air cleaner right here, your air filter. And then super easy to change out the oil with this drain tube. Now I know a lot of people have said that gets stuck on there. They've broken it off. So far, and I've changed the oil on this I think five times now in three years. Um, so far, I've had, you know, it's difficult to get that off. It's, it's kind of a struggle sometimes, but I'm always able to get it back on and get it back off without breaking it. It does take, you know, being gentle and pulling nice and easy. You know, take your, take your time, pull this out of here, kind of give it a little bit of a twist sometimes if you need to. I like to twist and pull at the same time, wiggle it back and forth just lightly. I think where people might go wrong is it does, especially if it's warm like it is right now, there's kind of a vacuum build up on there and it makes it difficult to pull down off. And if you really reef on it, I could see how that plastic would break. Now here at the back of the machine, I'm gonna contradict myself a little bit by saying, I'm really glad this Toro Time Cutter does not have the folding ROPS bar because I can get right underneath our flowering pear trees, no problem, nothing catches behind me, nothing gets hung up. I actually duck down sometimes, so I'm probably just a little bit higher than the seat height to get under some low-hanging branches. So I like that about it. I kind of wish sometimes that it had the folding ROPS, not because I'm ever mowing in an area where I'm worried I'm gonna roll over, but because I like the idea of having the ROPS to attach the Artillian tool rack system so I could take some tools with me, you know, rakes if I need to be raking afterwards, or a shovel if I'm cleaning up parts of the yard. So I kind of wish it had the rack just to hold stuff but I'm glad it doesn't have the ROPS because of the areas I'm mowing in. Now let's talk about my two favorite things about the time cutter and they're built right into the name time cutter. It saves me a ton of time because I'm so much faster on the zero turn than I was on the John Deere or the Gravely mower. I can get my entire front yard mowed in probably 
half to two thirds of the time, depending on how high the grass is and how much stuff I'm maneuvering around. But it seriously has cut down my mowing time. When we mow the cemetery, it goes much faster now with the zero turn than it did with the riding mower. The other part of that word cutter, in addition to cutting time, the cut of the lawn is excellent. I've never had a mower that cuts as good as the time cutter does. It's been probably two weeks. We're in the end of August now, so the grass has finally started to slow down a little bit and we haven't had much rain, which has helped, but you can still see behind me some stripes. So two weeks ago, there's no striping kit on this. It's just the lift of the deck. It makes some pretty incredible stripes for a stock machine with no special striping kit. And that's one of the things that really impressed me the first time I used it and as I've used it for the three years since. People will drive by and say, your lawn looks amazing, I like the stripes. And it's not because of a striping kit, it's because the time cutter has so much power and suction underneath those blades to lift up the grass and it actually points the blades in the direction that you've just been traveling. So I really like the included striping with my Toro time cutter. Like I said, our yard is not perfect and it's wet for quite a bit of the summer. One of the things I wish I had were those little bit more aggressive tires that you see if you're looking at the Toro Titan Max. It's a little bit different tread pattern, a little bit bigger rear tires, and I think that probably helps you out in situations like ours where it's a little bit more wet and you're going through some rougher areas. So if I were gonna do this all over again, what would I do differently? Well, I really like the 60 inch cut. I'd stick with that. And at the time, and I think still now, you can't get the 60 inch cut with the My Ride system. I have been thinking about that. Our lawn is rough. My Ride would make it a little bit smoother, but I still don't think I'd sacrifice the 60 inch deck for the My Ride system. Those tires that are on the Titan Max would be really nice. The Titan Max is a pretty impressive machine, but I don't know if I need that much machine. This works perfectly for our small lawn care business, perfectly for taking care of quite a bit of grass here at the yard. And as you saw, if you watched the previous video, I've mowed three quarters of an acre up to five acres with the Toro Time Cutter, and it does a great job. The last couple of things I wanna talk about on the Time Cutter after owning it for three years. Uh, the seat's one of them. I love the armrests, and I like the nice comfortable seat. My only issue with the seat is, I guess maybe two issues. When you do lift it up to check your battery or whatever, there's nothing that keeps it from coming all the way down and hitting the front of the thing. So you gotta keep a hold of that. The second thing is these adjustment knobs, they loosen up with the vibration over time and I'll be riding along, especially if I'm going downhill and I'll, f I'll feel my seat slide forward. So I constantly, I'm retightening these to keep myself from sliding around on the seat. Now thinking back over the last three years, there is one thing I would definitely do differently today. So I'll tell you about that after we mow. That's right, I want you to stay to the end of the video. So there we go, the front section of the yard is completed and it took me no time at all. You can see the stripes from the last time are kind of still there, but you can also see the stripes from mowing at this time as I walk across the yard. Another thing you'll notice is it's pretty dry. We haven't had much rain. You can see a lot of brown spots here in the yard. So it has stopped the growth of the grass, but it's making our yard have some brown spots. So it would be nice to get a little bit of rain Okay, I teased you a little bit before we mowed and said there was one thing I would do differently and that one thing is I would get this zero turn about five years earlier. Not just because it makes mowing so much easier, faster, and better, but because it's changed how I use my tractor. So my John Deere 2210 used to be my tractor and my mowing machine 
And the problem with that is I'd take the front end loader off to mow and then sometimes I would need the front end loader but I wouldn't want to go through the hassle of putting it back on. Not that it takes a long time or that it's a pain but it's just kind of an additional step that I didn't want to do reconnecting the hydraulic lines, getting everything lined up, putting it on just to take it back off. And, and putting it on also meant for me putting the ballast box on the back because if I'm going to be using the front end loader I need to have weight on the back. So for me, it, I guess it was kind of a little bit of a pain to put the loader and the ballast back on anytime I wanted to use it and then take them off to mow. So having the zero turn not only makes mowing much better here, but also makes my tractor use much better. I left the loader on this entire summer, didn't take it off one time, didn't put the mower deck on the John Deere at all this year. It is no longer my mowing machine. Now, if some, for some reason I would need to use it to mow, I always still have the deck to put on and I could easily do that, but my mowing machine is my time cutter. Hopefully this video helped you out or entertained you in some way. If so, please click that thumbs up button. We'd really appreciate it. And if you're not already following us on Purple Collar Life, we make videos about obviously the mower, lots about tractors, lots about firewood, log splitting, um, rural living here in Northwest Pennsylvania. Thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. I'll see you again the next time. Looks like it's going to rain, so we're going to get this thing back in the garage. <laughs>